What's going on my fellow photoshoppers? It's Conti here with another photoshopping tutorial. In today's video, we are gonna have a go at creating a crescent moon. So Photoshop windows open at the ready. Open up your road at night image. Go to create a new layer. Double click where it says layer one and rename this layer moon. Press enter when you're done. Go to select your elliptical marquee tool. Hold shift, left click on the canvas, drag your mouse cursor to the bottom right corner to create a circular selection. Let go of your left mouse button and let go of shift. Press shift and backspace on your keyboard. Choose white as the content. Click OK. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. If you're a Mac user, use command instead of control or option instead of alt right click on your moon layer and duplicate layer rename this new layer dark moon click ok when you're done hold control on your keyboard and left click on the thumbnail for your dark moon layer press shift and backspace choose black as the contents in the fill window this time click ok Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Go to your Move tool. Hold Shift, left click on the dark moon, drag it towards the top left to create a crescent shape. Let go of your left mouse button and let go of Shift. Open up your moon image. Using the Move tool, left click on the image and drag it up to your project window. Don't let go of the left mouse button until you've dragged your mouse cursor down to the center of your canvas. Let go of the left mouse button and your moon should appear. With the new moon layer selected, hold Ctrl, press T to select the free transform tool. Hold Shift on your keyboard, left click on one of the boxes in the corner, drag it downwards to make your layer smaller. Drag your moon layer up so that the whole layer is inside the canvas. Press enter. Go to your magic wand tool. Left click on the black space around your moon. Press delete on your keyboard. Press control and D to deselect. Select your move tool. Left click and drag your moon layer up towards your own moon. Reduce the opacity to about 30% so that you can see where the real moon is in relation to yours. With the real moon layer still selected, press Ctrl and T again. Drag your mouse cursor just beyond one of the boxes in the corners. Rotate your moon clockwise to bring some of the grey markings from the moon parallel with your white circle. Let go of your left mouse button. Hold shift and drag one of the three transform boxes inwards to resize your moon. Until the shape is almost similar to your own white circle. Press enter. Change the opacity of the real moon layer back to 100%. Rename the layer real moon. Drag your real moon layer down below the dark moon layer. Using your move tool, ensure that the real moon is covering all of your white shape layer. Right click on your real moon layer and choose create clipping mask. You should see the moon texture appearing on your white circle shape now. Go to the blending options and choose multiply. Double click on your moon layer to open up the layer style window. Choose outer glow. Double click on the color and select white. Click OK. The blend mode should be set to normal. Opacity 80%, Noise 0%, the colour already selected as white, Technique softer, Spread 15%, Size 27 pixels. Keep the quality settings the same, click OK. 
hold control and left click on your dark moon layer. This should create a selection of the dark moon. Go to create a new layer, drag this new layer to the top, rename this layer light, press enter, go to select one of your marquee tools again. It doesn't matter which one you select this time. I'm going to select the elliptical marquee tool again. With your new light layer selected, right click inside your selection and choose stroke. The stroke should be two pixels wide, white and located in the center of your selection. Click OK. Press Ctrl and D on your keyboard. Go to filter, stylize and wind. For the method, choose wind and direction from the right. Click OK. Repeat the wind application one more, so you do it twice altogether. Press Ctrl and T to bring back the free transform tool for your light layer. Hold Shift on your keyboard. Go to one of the corner boxes so that your mouse cursor appears as a curled double-headed arrow. Left click and drag clockwise by 30 degrees. Press enter. Use your move tool and left click and drag your winded circle so that the wind lines blowing inwards to the dark moon are next to your real moon. Go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. Select 10 pixels for your Gaussian blur. Click OK. Select your eraser tool. In this example here, I'm going to use a 200 pixel eraser with a soft round edge. Opacity 100%, flow 100% also. With your light layer still selected, left click and go over the edges of the moon. Go over the white parts until you get to the part where the real moon starts curving inwards behind the dark moon. Select your real moon layer with your eraser tool still selected. Coming down from the top left section of your dark moon about halfway, left click and drag your mouse over this half of the dark moon. Repeat this process also for your moon layer. Keep left clicking until the light starts going down. Left click around the edges of Peter Lee as well to create a pointed effect for the edge of your crescent moon also. Since the tips of my crescent moon aren't so curvy, I'm going to go back to the dark moon layer again, press Ctrl and T and increase the size of the dark moon itself. Press enter, select your light layer, select the move tool, drag the light down so that it is closer to the edge of your dark moon layer. Select your background layer. Choose your clone stamp tool, hold alt on your keyboard, left click once to select part of the dark sky near where you want your crescent moon to be. Let go of alt when you've made your selection and go to your dark moon layer, left click and paint over the white outline of the top left corner of your dark moon layer. Should you wish to resize your crescent moon, Hold control on your keyboard, left click your four layers, the three moon layers and your light one. Hold control and press T on your keyboard and use the free transform tool to resize your crescent moon as you wish. Press enter when you're done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon again for another photoshopping tutorial. Take care.